Ladies and gents, welcome back. There's a new documentary that's making headlines. It hasn't come out yet, but this one's coming from Fox News, his own personality, host, pundit, or whatever you want to call him, label him, uh, Tucker Carlson. He's introducing a new film labeled O Canada, where he poses the question that based on U.S.'s official policy, should the United States liberate Canada from its dictator, Justin Trudeau. And he gets into some of the details in the trailer. This was released out on Twitter and uh, concerned Canadian commenting on this one. I'll urge all followers to watch this documentary clip entitled, Oh Canada, it will shock you, it will anger you, it will provide you with an international perspective on how how other countries view Canada. Well, let's just get into it. Here for more than a hundred years, the United States has, as a matter of official policy, opposed dictatorships around the world. But what if tyranny arrived right next door? What would that look like? And what would our government do in response? Would we liberate the people living under authoritarian rule as we have around the world? That is the topic of our upcoming Tucker Carlson Originals documentary, O Canada. Here's a first look at what we found. The cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. Some nations may be able to turn a blind eye to atrocities in other countries. The United States of America is different. Fortunately for the oppressed, America's influence is considerable. Roger, target mark by Italy. Oh, mankind. Uh, we, we like to say people kind. Exactly. <laughs> All right. The police then, then moved in and arrested me. Bye, Daddy. In the entire time that I was in prison, <laughs> they shot me point blank. <laughs> my mouth, my nose, my eyes. I received bruise. I, my hands were bleeding. No place under arrest right now. I was arrested and cuffed and put in jail. For those that don't realize what's going on as this is happening, we're we're showing political leaders, journalists, all being assaulted and uh, arrested in Canada. This is not a joke here. And in this, of course, is the scene where an elderly woman and another man were run over by a horse, a police horse, uh, during the Freedom Convoy of 2022 back in February. The greatest danger of all would be to do nothing. We care about saving innocent lives. The tyrant will soon be gone. The day of your liberation is near. So it made us... Well, okay, so I don't know if that's the kind of liberation people are looking for. Um, I don't know if uh, (laughs) the people in Iraq uh, were very pleased about that. But this is the name of the documentary here from Tucker Carlson. Now, um, Microsoft Start, uh, was this, Uh, Nars City Canada, releasing an article here, story by Helena Hansen. Tucker Carlson is releasing a documentary about tyranny in Canada, and the trailer is wild. Fox News host Tucker Carlson is taking his previous claims that Canada needs liberating one step further by creating a new documentary about the emergence, the emergence of tyranny in Canada. Well, this is not this is not untrue. Uh, The teaser trailer for the new film posted on April 15th. Tucker Carlson poses the question, what if tyranny arrived right next door? Alluding to previous uh, comment that the American host made earlier this year. Now, I'll get into that uh, comment shortly. He ex- he explains that this is the topic of his upcoming Tucker Carlson Originals documentary, which is called O oh Canada. The Bizarre, according to the writer of this article trailer, features clips from former U.S. presidents saying things like, the cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And some nations may be able to turn a blind eye to atrocities in other countries. The United States of America is different. And (laughs) I don't know if this is hyperbole or what, but here is uh, Tucker Carlson uh, raising this point on his show uh, when he was talking about uh, liberating Ukraine. We're We're spending all this money to liberate Ukraine from the Russians. Why aren't we sending an armed force north to liberate Canada from Trudeau? And I mean it, he says. So I have to ask you about Canada, 
And what we saw happen there last winter, the trucker protests, yeah. and then the crackdown by the authoritarian yeah. government of Canada. What what struck you about that? I thought you were going to ask me whether Trudeau is Castro's son, or well, if he you very much <laughs> obviously is, and I'm completely in favor of a Bay of Pigs operation to liberate that country. I mean, why should we stand back and let our biggest trading partner, the country with which we share the longest border, and actually, I could just say a great country. I love Canada. I've always loved Canada because of its natural beauty. Why should we let it become Cuba? Like, why why don't we liberate it? We're spending all this money to liberate Ukraine from the Russians. Why are we not sending an armed force north to liberate Canada from Trudeau? And I mean it. Well, I don't know. But that you don't I, have to answer. Yeah, that. I, I don't know that I'm 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 there yet with you. Um, I'm nervous about <laughs> answering that one. I'm just talking myself into a frenzy uh, here. I I was pleasant. So I have to ask. So obviously that was an inflammatory statement, um, but it, it was definitely a thought provoking statement. And a lot of people obviously taking taking this into consideration, some of the comments saying he's right. Many Canadians don't realize how much this country has changed under Trudeau. It's looking more like Venezuela, destroying the energy sector, increasing debt and massive inflation caused by government overspending, arrest of opponents and freezing bank accounts. It is looking like a banana republic at this point, is it not? Canadian, as Canadian, I wish you would. I wish you would come and take over here. Now, the, the uh, National Post writes an article with their impossible to read format with the uh, thing with the thing and the thing before you can actually see the, on the page. So I brought it up on another thing with the, just the text here. Um, Tucker Carlson, should you, the U.S. liberate Canada from Trudeau? Tucker Carlson, the Fox News television host and provocateur, as as has a new documentary coming out, and its central question is whether the United States should liberate Canada from tyranny, as it attempted to do to Libya, Libya and Iraq, and well, right now uh, Ukraine and Canada really supports that effort uh, as a as a national policy. Maybe the Canadians don't all support that, but the government definitely. All does. There's no opposition in our government for that. Canadians of certain age will remember how those efforts went. Concerted airstrikes leveled swaths of the countries. Uh, Iraq's dictator Saddam Hussein was hanged, and the video of his execution leaked online. Muammar Gaddafi's Libya's strongman was hauled from a, a drainage pipe and impaled on a stick or a bayonet. Mobile phone footage of that too was leaked. Either way, neither Iraq nor Libya are prospering stable nations after America's interventions. Uh, I don't know how much of a stable and uh, prosperous country there were prior to that, but, but that uh, may be true. Enter Canada in a teaser trailer for the new film called Oh Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is shown in the red favored by communist propagandists, uh, complete with a mustache and a distinctly Assad-esque flair. Now, many contemporaries would not disagree with uh, the, the idea that he's close to communism, uh, considering all the accusations that are being levied at the liberal government at the moment. Uh, the entire board of the Trudeau Foundation uh including the, the the president and CEO uh, resigning over uh, allegations of interference from China in our elections. Well, that isn't that great. For more than 100 years, the United States as a matter of public poli official policy opposed dictatorships around the world. But what if tyranny arrived right next door, Tar Carlson asks. Would we liberate the people uh, living under an authoritarian rule as we have around the world. Now, I think this is a bit of a, um, you know, a tease, a tease or uh, a hyperbolic bit of a question. Now, I'm sure he definitely cares about Canada and he would like to have that liberated. But there is definitely a bit of a, a tease in the in the fact that maybe he disagrees with the, the United States uh, going around the world and policing everything that everybody does. And, well, that's that's just that. Now, uh, here we have, oh, Canada, C Tucker Carlson sheds a light on once a once free country turned completely authoritarian under Trudeau, uh, introducing Lauren Southern to an American audience here. Uh, if you walk down Hastings Street, now they're going to have shops where you can buy cocaine, but they've taken away guns. It seems they're legalizing all of the vices in my country while taking away all of the things that actually give people 
the ability to put their life in their own hands, have personal right. responsibility, take care of yourself. They want us drugged up. They want us pleasure seeking. They want us completely, you know, the opiate of the masses, dependent on the government, not, turning a blind eye to all of the corruption going on. They just want us pleased with things that will distract us. Hor horrifying. One of the reasons so I'm so glad you're here is because I have the feeling you're on a collision course with the Canadian government. So I just I wanted to meet you in person <laughs> before whatever yeah. happens, happens. <laughs> Lauren Southern, remember that name. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yes, remember that name. Yes, remember that name. And all of us that are speaking out are in a collision course with the Canadian government. And this is why we have bills like C-11 trying to shut these voices down. And this is, if you think that that's not what it, if, well, if you believe the, the, the message that they have for why they're trying to bring C-11 uh, that it's trying to promote Canadian content, yet all Canadian content creators on both sides of the aisle are definitely speaking out against it. But here, here's the situation that we're in. Um, yes, it may it may get worse before it gets better. Um, but yeah, anyway, this documentary is coming out uh, pretty soon. We'll, we'll keep you updated on where that's going and where it's, where it's going to be. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this Tucker Carlson provocative uh, documentary coming out about liberating Canada from its dictator. Many people probably agree. Many people disagree. We'll see what the comments say in the comment section down below. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.